right. um, yeah. Or although, although, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say because I've, 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 I've done. That's no, it. fine. Yeah, I've done it. It's fine. Yeah. Well, Simon, I've spent a couple of hours this afternoon just trying to re-familiarise myself with some of the story because I've forgotten lots of it. I do remember getting, and I think I wrote a day or so ago to all of you, getting a bit hung up on uh, my, my father's mum, Winnie, uh, who uh, gave birth to him around the Castle Main area, in specifically at Carisbrook in 1908. And uh, a little puzzle I've had for some time is um, why he was called Eustick as a surname. Uh, and so one obvious answer is it was Winifred Eustick. So that makes you ask, well, how did she come to be Winifred Eustick? So she's obviously the daughter of a Eustick, is she? Or maybe... Um, yeah, okay, so we, we, we think of that. But later I find that she's called Winifred Clarkson. And then I discover that her parents were Robert Eustick and Mary Ann uh, Brandt, but Robert died. And so some years later, Mary Ann uh, repartnered presumably remarried, although you can't always guarantee that, and she married a Clarkson. So or, or two. some of her children uh, or their children could well have been called Eustick, but they could also maybe at times be called Clarkson. So I think that's my understanding of how the Eustick Clarkson business occurs in on that side of the family. All right, well, we'll jump into there. So, do, 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 where am I? I'll just share my screen. I think that's what I was going to plan to do while Sammy talked and you guys talked and I'd just look stuff up. But. Is that working? Yep, we've got Stephen. Yep. Uh, oh, this is an old Stephen. All right, what have I got hidden here? Family. Uh, I started sorting these last week into Robert, Marianne, Winnie, Percy. So, just getting familiar with all these. Huh? I think it's Stephen to Martin. To Martin. To Martin. Quite a few Martins. In a row. And then, okay, okay Martin and Mary are the parents. Of Robert. Of the brothers. The four brothers that came to Australia. Stephen. Thomas, Robert and William, I think. Okay, and Robert is the one that we're particularly interested in because he's the father of Winnie. Potentially. My, my father's mother. And he so married, Robert, yeah, yeah looks he like he married Jenkins. He married Marianne Brent. 
Oh, sorry, his mother was, yeah, his mother was Mary Ann Jenkins, sorry. He married Mary Ann Brent. She's sometimes called Brandt and sometimes Brent. They do sound very similar. Yep. You get these funny little things with names. Oh, yeah. Well, you stick, yeah, there's, yes, many different spellings. Well, they often put an E on the end. Now, you'll notice where she died. It's interesting, that Collingwood, isn't it? Yeah. Because where where she meets up where she meets up with Robert and Marys is in the Castle Main area, which is an hour and a half northwest of Melbourne, roughly. And they end up yeah. in well, she ends up, and maybe they end up, or well, Robert dies, but she ends up in Collingwood. Now, a fascinating thing about this is that on the other side of the family, my mother's side. Um, people are associated with, wait for this, Clifton Hill and North Fitzroy, which is right next to Collingwood. And also um, for about nine years of your dad and my life, we lived in Clifton Hill and we had no idea about any of this. Mm -hmm. Dad, is Clifton Hill the same as Clifton Gardens? Well, Gardens is simply, Clifton Gardens no. Is in New Clifton Garden, Clifton Hill's an inner north suburb of Melbourne, just a few K, almost due north of Melbourne, just a touch east and uh, like a 10 minute tram ride, Lee. Mm -hmm. And it's surrounded by suburbs like uh, Fitzroy, Collingwood, Northcote, those sorts of suburbs. Now, Clifton Garden. So I've, I've actually got an address here. Yep. 99 Gold Street. Yeah, and that's fascinating because Gold Street is around the corner from yeah, where Percy and Vera had a shop at 149 Queen's Parade. And I was aged roughly 12 to 21. So your dad would have been roughly 16 to 24 or five. And just around the corner from that shop, Gold Street runs into um, Queen's Parade. Also, Simon, your mum's father, Jim, was the principal of a- Gold primary, Street Primary. And it was Gold Street. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. Now, isn't that something? Uh, yeah. Yep. Hi, Sammy. Yeah, where are you? Oh, 4.45. So, all right, no worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll just do it from there now and then do it. See you later. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Bye. She's uh, jumping online. Great. From her house. All right. Well, what what are you yep. looking at here, Simon? The, this is the death notice for Marianne. Right. It's Winnie's mum. Yep. Are we calling her Winnie or Minnie? I I'd prefer to call her Winnie, I think. But look, I'm I'm you may know more. I'm used uh, to calling I'm used to calling her Winnie. Yep. But what and do you, you think? saw Ah uh, I've got a feeling it's Minnie. Okay. Let's let's go there. Uh, There's a family. mini on the left, but it couldn't. Maybe it's unrelated. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mother of Mary, William, Henry, Minnie, Thomas, May, Edward, George. 
Now, Roger comes from the same, he's got the same story. Yep. He comes from Robert Eustick. When, so that's the father of, oh, potential father. And he comes through this, this line. Uh, I think Thomas. Anyway. That rings a bell. Yep. So the, the, the timeline goes, I just want to go back, back to Robert. Timeline goes that he died in 1879. So he's very young, 37 at the and moment. There and there are death notices. Let's go to that. Family, Robert. I think there's a death notice backing that up here. At Dowling Street, Sandhurst, which is Bendigo. Yes, I don't know that. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, and they're giving him an extra name, Michael, in there, because he's usually called Robert Noel or Noel Eustick. Isn't that, do you notice something really interesting there? Notice that word Noel. It's like Neil. Yeah. And there are two L's. Well, now, I'm, I don't know that my mother had well, any knowledge of that in naming yep. them Neil. It's just a really strange coincidence. And why is that name not in any of the other brothers' names? Yet I think it is specked throughout Cornwall and other. You, you think you've seen it throughout Cornwall, do you? I, I think I've seen it mentioned, yes, in other eustic names. Right. But none of these other brothers that come from, that came to Australia or the other families, other siblings in that line, in that family. This is the only one that seems to have taken the name Noel and it's not consistent. No, no. Well, the only guess I can make, and I don't know why it would be done, but in French, N-O-E-L is the word for Christmas. Ah. And you know that there's that hymn, the first Noel the angels did say, sing. Yes. That's, so Noel is Christmas. Hello, Sam. Sam's connecting to audio. Hello, Sam. I'm in. So sorry I'm late, guys. My bad. Yeah. All right, we're yeah, recording. It's okay. Hi. Hi, Sam. How are you? Good. How are you? I have no excuse except for I was an hour late and I was making... A beef Wellington. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Righteous. That'll How are be you good. All doing? <laughs> Going well. Yeah. Are you are you're Sydney, aren't you, Leanne? Not yes. Canberra. Is Rachel Canberra? Sydney uh, as well. She's, yeah. not, she's not well, Sam. Oh, no, that's no good. Mm. <laughs> I saw her earlier today. Don't know if you know that, Dad. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw her earlier today. She has a new dog, Willow. Oh, oh. I got to see. Um, I got to see Willow, and Willow is tiny and gorgeous. And what very... type of dog is Willow? A whippet. Oh my lord! Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> so she is very, very slim and, um, yeah, very small. Um, smaller than what I pictured because she'd shared photos before. And, um, yeah, I think we got to like each other. <laughs> you know, as in she was nervous at first, but it was mainly to do with surroundings. And we found a really nice park and we took her there. And, and then today Sydney couldn't decide whether it was going to be sunny or rainy or in between. So, here. yeah, it was just a, a mixed bag of weather. So... Yeah, so it was interesting. <laughs> so it was nice to catch probably, up. Probably warmer than us. I think um, I was going out for a run and it was 11. <laughs> wow. So were you and, both in Melbourne? Yes. Okay. And I was, I was planning on about to get ready, put the beef wellington in the fridge and go over to Uwe's for 5.45. Yeah. 
<laughs> but anyway, so yes, we're we're only about four and a half kilometers away from each other. Oh, nice, nice. It is, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. How long is it? Because you were in Perth, weren't you, before Sam? Yeah, seventeen yeah. years. I was in. Gosh, Perth. gosh that's all. <laughs> it's a whole life. Mm. Yeah. It was when Dad said he was meeting up with you, I thought. Okay, right. He said he was going to Melbourne. So I'm thinking, (laughs) um, I'm assuming you're in Melbourne as well. (laughs) Um, Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's great that you're so close. It is very nice. After being so far away for so Mm. long, it is is nice to go for dinner or catch up Mm. or um, go to the football together. Oh, (laughs) yes. So who who do you both support? I'm Essendon. Mm -hmm. What about you, Simon? My, I, I, know, I know how the weather was in Sydney today because my team just got beat up there. Collingwood. Oh. oh, oh, there you go. Great. What about you, Dad? <laughs> oh well, um, uh, my my family origins are Essendon. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. So why did you deviate, Simon? Simon has demonstrated his independence. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh. I don't know what he's saying about his families, but being look, all we've talked about is Collingwood so far. Clifton Hill. Yeah, exactly. I know that's what I was Collingwood. thinking. Collingwood. That's just where we lived. So that's not where the heart was. <laughs> but but dad, where you live is, you know, significant because Rach and I were always um we were uh rugby league fans, so we liked Parramatta because we were we grew up around Parramatta and then we liked Canberra Raiders because we were in Canberra. Um, and I think we're both still sort of Canberra Raiders fans still. Um, we liked when they made it to the grand final yeah. a couple of years back. Um, yeah, but we don't, I don't think either of us really follow any teams in no, particular yeah, no. anymore. Mm. I think, guys, we need to move on. Um, yeah. I, I, well, we could. I mean, we could, yeah, we could move on. What, what and we can come back. Like we'll, we'll do it again. I don't know if we'll cover everything. So you, oh. you started with some of the stuff he's been putting together. Yuri, what are oh. you showing us here? Ah, oh. sorry. Just before you joined, just a quick catch up. We started with uh, Winnie Minnie and her mum, Marianne. Right. And then we had we we up. We went to the death notice of Minnie's mum, uh, Marianne, uh, dying in Gold Street, Clifton Hill. Mm. And you know the significance for your family of that, Sam. Yes, I know. We've got both sides that come together in Clifton Hill. It's pretty funny, isn't it? And then we were talking about, okay, uh, with who's like the father of mini eustic is it yeah yeah so well, yeah and yeah, roberts yeah. roberts a well, so we're into robert he's the brother of stephen so stephen was the first brother to arrive and then three brothers came 10 years later and in 1863 so robert was 22 and did you say stephen was the first yeah. Stephen was the first in 1853. The oldest brother, I think, wasn't he? He was. And they were all born in that St. Ives to Morva. I think it's Morva, Madron, but Morva. Oh. Um, that north east bit of Cornwall. Well, so, southwest of, Penwith. of Penwith. Northwest. Northwest, yeah. So Between St. Just and St. Ives. It pokes way out to the west of England and it's got a coast on the north and a coast on the south and it goes way, way out to Land's End. And, but if you go oh, yeah. back a little bit from, from there, you, on the north side, you get to uh, places like St. Ives which is not the same as St. Ives in Sydney. It happens to have the same name. It's beautiful view. You're going to show me the map? Yeah, I'll bring up the map. So were Robert, Stephen, Robert, et cetera, they weren't born in the Batallic area? Had they moved north to that pub we went to at the end? 
remember that pub we had dinner at the last, which was further north of Vitalik and St. Just. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lee, we're all from down here. This tiny little bit at the end of England. Leanne, it's so beautiful. Oh, my God, it just took my breath away. Mm, nice. And you see St. Ives there, Lee, on the north side? Whoops. Whoops. My $200 pawn shop laptop is <laughs> struggling a bit <laughs> under the weight. <clears throat> There's Vitalik. All right. Yep, St. Just. I'll go back one, one more hour. So we think that's where the Eustick started, don't we? Yeah. Well, there's a large concentration of action. So in the Lee is a little, vi little village, um, not nowhere near as well known as St Ives. St Ives is on the, uh, effectively on the water. It's it's a bigger and flasher place. And just is a little place, um, and you can see it labelled there. Holston, Holstown. Yeah. So South that's where we, that's where the pub was, Sammy, where we yeah. went. So Yui, somewhere, and I can't remember where, but we were told that Saint Eustick means people from Saint Just. Yes, there's a reference to that yeah. in some old literature. So that again, Sam. So there's a reference somewhere that Eustick, our surname, means people from Saint Just. Yes, that's quite different to what Roger Eustick told me. But I think I've told you a couple of times, Roger has an imagination. Yes. Which is another way of saying I don't trust a lot of what he tells me. <laughs> he likes a story, doesn't he, Neil? Yes, I don't think he bothers too much about its accuracy. <laughs> Simon, do you have any idea where the, where the place Godolphin is on your map? So over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, um, um, where's Truro? Can you find there's, it? Near Helston. There's Falmouth. from Helston, really, I don't think. I think it's, I think Godolphin is not far from Helston. Helston's there. I think it's more yeah. over this way. You think it's but... better? Than... I can. Oh, well, P-H-I-N. Godolphin House, Helston. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh. That's it. Yeah, so right near Helston. Okay. No, it's a different Helston. A different Helston. So too many Helstons. <laughs> that's Holstown there. And this oh, is there's, one, there's a Helston near where the blue mark at the bottom of your map is, just above the word Google. There's Godolphin House in the middle of the screen, which is not surprising since that's what you chose. Now, Godolphin House is um, was is a property now owned by the National Trust, and you probably know the name of the house that Christine and I live in is Godolphin. And this house was built in 1957. As to why it was called Godolphin is is a mystery, even though it's not a very old mystery. You know, it's only 60 years old. Um, but the amazing thing is that once when I was in Truro in the Cornwall Family History Society building. I pulled down as I was leaving, I pulled down from the shelf a handwritten copy of a donated family history. And at the top of that, there were two names, which is conventional, and then the tree spreads out from those two. And there was a Marjorie Godolphin and a Thomas Eustick. Mm. Wow. And here, Christine and I are, she's married to a Eustick, and we're living in a house called Godolphin. It's just bizarre, isn't it? Yes. I remember after you told me that that night, I went down some rabbit warren of searching on Google. I'm just trying to see if I kept it. But it, it actually linked to um, some poets as well. I don't know if it was Thomas Eustick, but there was a... One of the Eustics, I think, um, oh, I'm trying to remember if it was Wentworth or which poet it was, but you know, 
We were obviously lyrical even back then, <laughs> or full of shit, one or the other. <laughs> well, yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, Simon, I'm, I'm interrupting. I, I... It's really no, it's all right. I, I wanted to make a comment, but I wanted to get some context to it. Is that there was a, a lot, a lot of eustics at that in, in the early days. Um. If given the uh, that suggested origin of the name, that would make sense. I mean, if it's people from St. Just, then there's going to be a lot of them. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if that's the origin, I don't mean that everybody from St. Just was called Eustic. <laughs> That'd be a bit confusing. Um, um, and incestuous. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yes. But if we're talking like, I don't know, 900 AD, you know, like the records we can we could find you sticks in the area back till 1450 or something, you wasn't it? In Batalic, actually, was it Batalic? They built Batalic in 15 Batalic yeah. Manor in 1580, I think it was. Right. Okay. And we traced we the person who built Metallic Batalic to us, like through our line, was all the way to. Um, Vitalik, and then I can't remember um, which was the minister we hung out with too. Uh, where's um, oh yeah, I don't know if we hung out with him. Which was the Methodist Wesley? No, Wesley. John Wesley. Wasn't it? John Wesley preached in our front yard, Neil. <laughs> yes, and I think some of the Eustics were in favour of him, and some of them were very opposed to him. There's a bit All of right. stuff in the yeah. National Library uh, in Canberra about that, some uh, in Wesley's journals. Mm -hmm. I'll, share, I'll share that another time with you. Uh, back in 2009, I went there and did some reading, and I've only just come across that this afternoon when I dug out a file. All right. Well, what I'm showing here is this is the scope of the documents that one person gave us that we met in Cornwall. That's the St. Just Church. It was just bizarre, random. I just walked. No, I just, I asked someone and she said, ask that person. And she had all this that she put to us on a stick and it's all documents related to the Eustics in the area. And it's quite, it's, uh, this is just page one of the first document. It's right. just amazing. So here we're in the 1600s largely, going into the 1700s, but there was some perhaps a bit before that even. Oh, Mary Borlais. Um, wow. So, yeah, I, I just want you to try... Uh, and absorb the scope. So that's the first page of that Eustic set. And here's the last. So there's one, two, four sets. There's some land title and leasing. I think that's one single document of possibly an Elizabeth Eustic that was quite wealthy. And then there's, Gillian, who was her name, the lady who gave it to us, I think she split it into, uh, there's a line of Oliver Eustick and a line of Stephen Eustick. So this is the last document. So there's five pages of potential Eusticks in the area with facts and information, which might have been used as the input into um, these trees. Mm. So here's an Oliver tree. Right. We don't, do we come, do we, did we work out, Yui, if that was our? I spent some brain power on it Monday night. Yeah. And I came up with a potential theory around some of these names because you notice these trees end at 1700. Mm. 
Yep. And, and it might go down on one more line, but it, it ends pretty early. And there's but so still, many it, Stevens mm. and Henrys, and it's so confusing. What Martins? Why didn't they have different names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, I might put the light on. So it's quite overwhelming, the content. But so that's Oliver One. I'll just go back to, I think we come in somewhere down in the bottom of this one. Is that a full thing? Okay. I think this is the more interesting one, line anyway. If you rotate. Excellent. Okay. This was the, yeah, always the first one we ever found on that zigzag site was someone who died in Flodden Field, which is up on the Scottish border, isn't it? Some famous war. It does ring a bell, but I, I don't know. Yeah. So born in 1460 in Batalic. <laughs> right. So this is around the time of Henry VIII. Right. There was something we found about um, Oliver Cromwell. Said. We got the property she... from the... <laughs> we were um, on Cromwell's side, I think, and those that had property from Henry VIII had to give it away. Yeah. Anyway, it was very... Yeah. I don't, we, picked, we picked up some land there, Neil. <laughs> yeah. So clearly that's where they got all the Henrys from. They wanted them to be Henry the Ninth. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right, if you look in the middle of that, there's the John Eustick married Eleanor C. de Hargrave yeah. in Chester. At a different time, we've seen her spelt more like Cotgrave, C-O-T-G-R-E-A-V-E. -E. Yeah, or cot, cot -gleave or cold, So you were always cold meant to be a cot Brave, yeah, and Mike's family are from right near Chester. They're from wow. that region. I know it's it's just yeah. Gosh, you mean the Daltons? No, that's my um, ex husband, Mike. 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 Mike Cotgrave, yeah. right, um, right, right next to Chester in that Shire. Um, yeah. So, did you guys go to Batalic? Yes, yeah. we should upload that video, Yui. Mm. Have you got that? Uh, I was going to make that your job to do the photo, get the photos in okay. order. But hang on, I might be right. Yeah, so we went to Batalic. It's it was a, a B and B. We actually wanted to stay there, and it was a B and B back in like twenty, uh, yeah, twenty fourteen, and. Um, but it, we couldn't find it, and we reached out, and we could so. We just turned up and it was really run down. It's been, it's owned by Lord someone or other. Um, and there's, you know, the, the community in the area are really disappointed that it's just been left to go to ruin, really. Um, so we we didn't get inside, but we did trespass on the property. <laughs> so we went through the outbuildings and um, all around and poked our heads through the windows and yeah. And from what we understood, we met someone at the rugby club and they were saying that Batalic, even though it looks a bit uh, yeah, run down and old and tired, of its time, it would have been, you know, the equivalent of a castle almost, not quite, but it was obvious how it was built and he was describing something about the, the roof line and things that yeah. at that time, that was very unusual. Um, um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, there you go. I can see it. <laughs> I can see the grey. I have a control issue that I want to start driving. <laughs> so you can see in the bottom left hand side. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, hang on. okay. Something we, we were trying to whip up earlier. No, I mean I've got I've got Zoom open. I've got so much stuff open. Oh, those photos were just there. Could you not pull it up? There was the picture of me next to the sign, Batalic House, down the bottom there. All right. At least it's the pictures. 
So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful part of the world. And Batalic's, um, I mean, St. Just wasn't too far from the coast. I would walk there every day, like it's a kilometre or two. But Batalic was almost on the coast, wasn't it, Yui? Mm. Mm. It's such a shame you can't travel. Have you been to England, Lee? No, not yet, not yet. All um, hearing from you guys and from Dad. That that's that's as far as I've gotten, but definitely on on my list. Obviously not right now when we can't. But I know it's a bummer. Yeah. I was hoping I've got long service leave um, that I'm due owed, and um, so I was hoping to do a Europe stint, but um, saving it up, yeah, for a rainy day. Mm. Yeah, it's a bummer that we can't travel at the moment, isn't it? Mm. Mm. And that's Batalic. Wow. Mm, so that's the gorgeous hydrangeas. Oh, yeah, yeah, Beautiful. yeah. So this was the house they used for the first Poldark series, and it was built really? by built by Eustick back in whenever 15, 15 80 or something. It's on the mantle, wow. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So, so we own probably that, and probably all the, the coast is just to the left over here. The yeah, beach I can sense it. Yeah, and all beautiful. the mines are here and there's big cliffs. So this yeah. was all the, the tin mining mm. area and this is like the boss's house. And there would have been all the, just like Poldark. <laughs> have you seen Poldark, Lee? No, I'm familiar with it though. Yeah. yeah. Definitely will now. <laughs> <laughs> the second series, yeah. My wife just loved it before we even knew of some of these issues and claims and yeah. yeah what a happy coincidence so how do i go to the next photo here oh yeah so it's a nice place but there's no one in it oh, and it's goodness. falling down almost we, we did have dreams of buying it didn't we yui that's my sister <laughs> i don't blame you photos. oh cool it was so it's so beautiful mm. Snuck in. <laughs> Trespassing. Don't, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Great. That's we the front walked yard. there. So we were in our walking gear. We walked there. And beautiful. Yeah, garden. you look great. Mm. You'd, you'd have a lot in common with Rach. She loves, you look, you dress similarly. Don't you think like that? Yes. You can see Rach in that outfit. Yeah, it's great. Wow. Gorgeous. Actually, she was wearing a very similar outfit to you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Just wearing sort of leggings and a white jumper today. <laughs> oh, there you go. Our comfy clothes. Yeah. But you look good in comfy clothes. There's Simon. <laughs> Well, we were blessed with the weather that day. I, I can't remember, was it a 4K walk or something, Yui? I can't remember how far the walk was. but And then this is the local pub just around the corner. Yeah, I yeah. was going to say it looks yeah. like a pub. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it just a spit away. I think it was mm. at the top of the the top of the street. And it's such mm. a shame with Paul Duck's um, resurgence of popularity, they could have made it into yes. quite, quite a popular destination. Absolutely. Gosh. Yeah. So the manor was just at the end of this road down here. Got it. And then and the, the pub was probably about the same. I can't remember how old it was. And that's St Just. So just a walk from Batalic to St St Just is this township on the hill here. And that's the beach over this here. So you went back in 2014, did you say, Sam? Uh, we were there 2019, just oh, before tw COVID. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful. I don't know if you went there, Neil, to Manac, Manac uh, Theatre? Uh, no. Okay. It's it's um, yeah, beautiful um, on the cliffs and uh, yeah. so lots of, the, in the background, it's one of those chimney uh, mining, what do they call them? Oh, they process, they process the arsenic. They use arsenic to process the tin, didn't they? <laughs> yes. Is that that's probably Cape Cornwall? Is it or? I don't know. I don't know. That's a great shot. Yep. That and was this, church, yeah. this is one of the churches. 
we we'll stand on ahead for that one. <laughs> and there's, here's Leah. This is over near St. Berrien, a different place where the Eustics had at some stage a fair bit of this land. And yep. That's the, Lee, that's the word Berry, B U R Y, with an A N on the end, but it's St. Berrien. Yep. And it's where they made a horror movie. Lee? What was it called? It's uh, it's really good, Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. Something What's it dogs? called again, Sammy? Something dogs. Yeah, straw straw, straw dogs? dogs. Straw dogs. Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> so watch it during the daytime. <laughs> yeah, and not when you're about to go to where it was made, and the okay. people were a bit similar. They not, if you're, oh, not, no. not if you're feeling wow. vulnerable in any way. Okay, yeah. right. Got it. It's got pretty it. heavy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but this place we went to, Hialeah, had bad juju. Like it was, um, that some of the places we went were like, just felt really, like, like Batalic felt beautiful. But this place, I got, it was the middle of the day and I was, mm. I felt creepy and. I can sense it. Yeah. In the uh, Yeah. Mm. Yep. Look at that. that I didn't was... get out of the car. I was so suey and I just stayed in the car, turned it around so I was ready to go. <laughs> Because we're trespassing too. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It hasn't seen a lot of love, I can tell. No. There was a lot of empty wine bottles out there. It's all wine bottles here. Yeah. And here. Yes. I'm just taking a break for a moment, guys. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's yeah, probably it pretty this scary. cup of tea time. <laughs> pretty scary. Yeah, so so are you saying this is where the scary movie Dustin Hoffman did well, here, it, set here? Maybe not on that land, but oh, yeah, yeah, no. sure, but in that area, yeah, pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, well, they could have used that land, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's is the that, church at St. That's Gary. the St. Barian Church, isn't it? We, we, um, given how many Eustics lived in the area all around this part of Cornwall, we couldn't find any. We went to all the grave sites mm. and we couldn't find any stone. Oh, that's the mini standing stones. Wow. Yeah. So the 12 sisters or something? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No idea why they're there. Fascinating. Mm. Wow. Look at the spacing. Yeah. So accurate. <laughs> I love the comedy. <laughs> Someone else was taking those. We, we picked, picked up a hitchhiker. We picked up a hitchhiker that day. <laughs> wow. Him. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> That's a how hitchhiker. He was a lovely fella. <laughs> and we, I think it, it started bucketing down, so he was very oh. appreciative. <laughs> oh, of course. Wow, That's stunning. That's another house he used to own. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe, yeah. It's yeah. a bit like the Godolphin thing. It's a bit of an unknown Connection. reference. And that was photos through the windows when we were trying to. So do you think, um, do you think Dad's parents knew of the history? Because, you know, his middle name's Richard. And I saw a lot of Richards before. There were Henrys and Richards. Do you think okay. that was just a happy coincidence? Or was it, do you think... You know how everyone tries to call the kids and someone's middle name? Parents yeah, or... yeah. Do you think that was deliberate or do you think it was a coincidence? It's weird because of what with Winnie um, getting pregnant with Percy, so with Neil and Neil's dad, our grandfather, um, Winnie um, was unmarried and so that's what brought them to Melbourne. Um Right. So, uh, but it was with um, her brother came down. I think you I can't remember what the brother, which brother it was, or Neil might remember. With Winnie coming down to Melbourne, so they only left the Castle Main area because of Winnie's situation. Um, well, sorry, from th that's the story, but it does it does fit with what we couldn't find about um, Percy's dad. Like there was the birth certificate we found of Percy had, you know, Winnie Eustick and um, which, what name was on, was something else, Robert Eustick. But there was nothing about that person and you couldn't link through. So when 
um, when, what's his face? Roger. When Roger said that, um, you know, she was um, pregnant, unmarried, pregnant, it sort of did make a bit of sense. Uh, so I don't know how connected she was. So her, her parents were Mary and Robert Eustick. And then, but Robert Eustick died really young. So Mary remarried into the Clarkson family. She married two brothers, <laughs> not at the same time. Wow. Um, or cousins. They were cousins, were they? Okay, sorry, they had well, the same surname. Well, no one, yeah, but these things aren't fact. These are just possibilities. Well, we know Mary married. We know Robert Eustick died young and Mary remarried. Well, I, I wanted to show you something that I found about oh. that. <sighs> okay, so back to Robert. Okay. Allegedly died in 1879 in Bendigo. And when is, when is, when he born? 18... Uh. 83. Oh. Yeah. When he's born, 1883? Yes. Yeah. So that's the mystery. What have I got? Okay. New tab family. It's got a rubber. Very, very diff- if, if he died in 79, he is not the father of, yeah. of Winnie. That was no. my suggestion at the, at the start that... That uh, Marianne remarried Joseph Clarkson, yeah. and they had children. But she chose to call. She chose maybe to keep her name or to call some of the children at least Eustick, at least initially. But that maybe later they changed their name to Clarkson because she's sometimes called Winnie or Minnie Clarkson. Did she? Oh, that was my suggestion. So we might not even be used to. Well, we're we used might... to in the in the sense that uh, she chose that name at a certain yeah. point to call some of the children at least used to, and notably Percy. But no blood. Look at this. Well, blood from not from the Eustick line. No. No. Wow. From the Eustick line by marriage, namely uh, Winnie or Minnie. But if Winnie or Minnie was actually a Clarkson, if she, if her father, if she was Marianne Brent and Joseph Clarkson's child, then there's no Eustick. Okay, sorry, Yui, what were you showing? So I'm trying to get the quick context. So this is all Noel. Because <laughs> Robert is the only one of the siblings that uses this name, Noel. And, and Ian mentioned the Christmas thing, which is a, a chance to check his date of birth. Uh, but I found this, I think, on Monday. Uh, I'm just trying to speed read. Stephen, a few inch- you notice that uh, in that third bottom paragraph about Stephen Eustick, Noel Eustick, and it mentions at the end of that first line, Stephen Eustick Beauchamp. Well, there's another French word Beauchamp Wow The Queen has been pleased to grant unto Stephen his Beauchamp blah, 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 blah. apparently what a coat of arms Well Foulmouth was in that area too wasn't it Lord Foulmouth that owns Botanic now? Yes So Falmouth is a huge port Yes Harbour North of Penzance. Yeah. And it's possible that there was trade going on or commerce going on between there and France. So, I'm just trying to make some guesses about the French connection. So I don't know who... 
Robert well, looking to my family ancestry, I found some information about Robert Michael Noel Eustick. And my great father, John Hooking, bought his estate in 1885. So, he alleged, so the, our Robert Michael Noel Eustick died in 1879, allegedly. Yeah. But that's saying he have, died childless in 1881. Again, that's all with, resonates. And with his signature. Oh, early in the thread you mentioned he had died, but they've got a signature at 1885. We're back to being new sticks, not Clarkson's. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just weird. Life would have been easier but, with the Clarkson surname, though. Through too school. true, Lee. You are so <laughs> spot on. U-S-T-I-C-K. U-S-T-I-C-K. U-S. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I remember as a little girl saying, I can't wait to get married. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> to change my surname. Took me a little while. <laughs> That's the benefit of being female, Simon. Sorry about that. <laughs> you just have to wait for the, uh, if you ever marry more than once, though. Yes. And <laughs> Okay. And this is about Minnie. It's not... No, that was from Roger. The second last paragraph. Yeah. So which bit do you want us to look at? Okay. I, let us return by helping your uncle, Neil. And by the way, I heard his brother, Ian, speak when I was a student at Melbourne University. Wow. I think it must have been you, Neil. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Right. So he's, he's, he's got you mixed up. Right. Now, I phoned my father, who was knee deep in the sporting globe, and outlined the call to him, which my father responded with, tell him nothing. He's already upset Bert and Gladys, not to mention Billy's Betty, who was still crying when he phoned me. I then marshaled up my mid-20s lines and bellowed at my old dad. For goodness sakes, you, Dan, that's Albert, Bill have got a, and William have got to spit out the truth. Auntie Min didn't marry to become a Eustick. She already was one. She was far too friendly with Jeff Minogue. And that is why Pop... I'm not sure exactly who Pop used to Moved the whole family to Melbourne and he supported her at his own home until she had Percy. But Percy was born in Maryborough or Carisbrook. Yeah, the birth certificate says Carisbrook. Uh, I've got stuff saying Maryborough, but yeah. They're very close. She was far too friendly with Jeff Minogue. <laughs> hint, hint. And that is why it pop moves. Yeah. I, I cannot understand why it is such a secret. Her brother did not even turn her back. He's back on her. She went to work and was able, and she came to visit often in those years, right up through the 30s, depression, and then the war years when I was born to lucky old you and mum. So it sounds like she was a trooper. Whatever she did, she was tough as. So Pop Eustick would have been her dad or was that her brother? Must... Pop Eustick so moved the whole family to Melbourne. You've got to remember this is in, in Roger's words. So it's probably his granddad. Is it Roger's granddad? I suspect that. I, I think that's what he would call his granddad. Yeah, so who's his granddad? The brother of Minnie. No, the brother of... Oh, it could have been the brother of Minnie. Yes, because remember, oh, her brother did not ever turn his back on her. Right, so we'll go back to Marianne Brent. That's good, Simon. Where's Marianne? Ah. I thought many more. I thought you had her there. Oh, okay. Right. This one, I think. 
So Marianne, we'll go for Marianne. All right. So Marianne allegedly married Robert in 1875, and he died four years later, and they had one child. This is what someone has determined. And then... She was unmarried and had four more children. Twins in 81 and twins in 83. She's a very twinny person. Yeah. So, Dad, is that... Do you think that'll be the twin connection? Well, my mother you know, the... said that... My mother said there are twins in the family, she said to mm. me. And then years later, I have twins. But mm. remember... Mm. Lee, when twins are uh, fraternal, not identical, it's mm. because of two eggs released mm, by the mm, mother. Mm. There isn't a lot that the father can do about that. Oh. Mm. So I think so, this, yeah. yeah, sorry. You go. Uh, so, no, so Mary Ann Brent, according to that, there is no father for William, Herbert, Winnie or Henry. There's no father named. Correct. And I think... But she went with the name Eustick, who were Robert's brothers at the time. <laughs> well, there's the brothers. So which one bought... Click on to Robert. I was just wondering, yeah, Robert died. So I think Roger comes through here. I think Robert comes through here, and we can work it out from those nicknames that he was given. Bill and Bert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bert oh, and oh, Bill. Bill and Bert. And... Yeah. Yeah. So I think one of these is his dad. There's Essendon. Go Bombers. Uh, so Roger's in the same boat. Yeah, he's in, in the... this... this... He's in this un oh unmarried God. period. So the, those twins are William and Herbert and... Winnie, Winnie and, and Henry. And Henry's always Harry. They always call the Henry's Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Which we still and, tend to do. Yeah. And Herbert, plus he died in very young. Yeah. Yeah. You guys may not know, but um, when my brother was born, uh, was not long afterwards, there was another child, Peter, and he died quickly. And then I was born. So, um, but that phenomenon was much more common in 100 years ago mm. of, of people, uh, children dying uh, quite young. So even if a person had, a woman had, or a couple had 10 children, Sometimes only five of them would survive. How old do you know much about how old Peter was when he died? Just my only this is a single conversation with my mother, mm -hmm. uh, probably 70 years ago, uh, or 60 to 70 years, uh, 65 to 70 years ago. My memory is it was a week. Wow. Wow. And what's the age gap between you and dad? How many years? Roughly three and a half. Okay. So yeah. Peter was in in there, um, but I don't oh. I don't have a date oh. for that. You do okay. Wow. And they had always intended to have two children. Oh, oh. Think about that. I do just think about that, Neil. I feel very <laughs> sorry for Peter, but very happy for us. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, so, all right, what else have I got here? No and do you have any reference to her marriages, Simon, Mary Ann? Not really. Because you've got her with Robert Noel Eusti, but we also know that she, have I got this right, that she teamed up with the Clarksons? That was on yeah. that thing you had up before, Yui. Oh, this is, anyway, you show us what you want to show us. So this, well, is, I, I, this is Winnie. I thought, I thought this might be a particular emotional. I, th I thought this might be a bit 
if you didn't know. Preston, right? I didn't know that. And there's a you know, and there's a plot number. Oh, should we go, Yui? Yeah. Uh, Might Preston, be Lee is north of Melbourne, a reasonable distance north of. Yeah, I've heard of Preston. Yeah. It's oh, quite, it's, it's only, quite a nice area, isn't it? It's getting better, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it used to be pretty average. Oh, okay. Not, I've not, seen. Not awful, but average. Okay. Yep. I've just seen some pretty cool designs there. Yep. The, the buildings inside, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been yuppa, not yuppa five, but the middle class, yeah. working class, and they're yeah. moving through. Yeah, yeah, they did Northcote mm. first. Right. Thornbury, mm. Preston. Thornbury, even Brunswick. Mm. Now, this is interesting. That date, I would have been uh, two, roughly two and a half when she died. Um, I, and it doesn't actually say where she died, but the reference that I have to her death is Hawthorne. I remember oh. seeing something like that I'd, years ago. Oh, I haven't got that. Oh, there. There, Yui. It says it right. Yeah. She died. Oh, okay. died Hawthorne. But maybe died there and buried. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, you're very, I mean, the, the burial is always somewhere else, isn't it? Yeah. It would be a, a fluke if you happen to be buried with, in the same suburb as you died. Yeah. Yeah. And so in this reference to this Thomas Eustick, which we've got no idea. And that's, that, 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 that statement after Thomas is ridiculous, isn't it? Because um, the, the reference to Thomas um, Eustick and he's being born in 1883, well, that's when she was born. So she married someone who was born in the same year. Um, I mean, that's all guesswork. I, it's not ridiculous. It just seems a bit of a big guess. And here's Henry in Fitzroy. So Percy had a brother. Well, that's what it's saying, isn't it? Oh, there was a few. Yeah. yeah. But what do you think about that, Simon? Henry Thomas, 1990, 11 years later. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, it, 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 I'm not sure. I think it's more guesswork from, but we, we should just, eventually, I think some time could be spent on trying to find. Henry. Yeah, some get some clarity around what who that was supposed to be. Anyway, it gives us a bit of a clue as to why Percy might be called Henry with a second name, doesn't it? There are a lot of Henrys in the Eustic line. <laughs> but on the other hand, maybe it was just a common name at the time. So back to your question that has this Marianne. Yeah, marrying Joseph Clarkson. Okay, and she does that. In 1886, according to this. And he died. And she had a baby in 1886 too. Two babies. And then he died. One, yeah, one, yeah, it was 86. And then when they got married, she had a baby. And then 88, she had another baby and he died. And then, yep, she and married. She married a brother or a cousin, this says. Yeah. So what's the date of that marriage to Edward? 1890. 1890. Coburg. Coburg. Yeah. Coburg. Coburg. So obviously Marianne had moved <laughs> to Coburg. Now this Coburg is really interesting connection. Um, Ian and I were born in a hospital in Coburg. Mm. Um, also, um, my mother's mother whose name was Mabel Amelia Cave. That's Amelia. Mother. Amelia, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mabel Amelia Cave. Mm -hmm. uh, she died in Coburg. So interesting. Coburg next to Preston and yeah. We have connections, a lot of connections with Collingwood, Fitzroy, uh, Clifton Hill. And now mm -hmm. on the other side and even a link here, there was a Coburg link. 
Yeah, Coburg, Preston. Mm. My mother went to high school at Coburg High. Mm. Well, she finished at year eight because that's what a lot of schools finished at then. You may not know that, Lee, but a lot of schools back in the late 19... Well, around 1920s, they people went to school to year eight and then that was it. Neil, do you know how Percy and Vera met? Probably at the Herald Sun where they were both working. Oh. And they got they became an item and decided they were going to marry. And and it wasn't to do with a pregnancy because those pregnancies came five years after marriage. Mm. Um, and there was a policy at the time, this, we're talking here, this was not too long after the Depression, but prior to World War II, so in the, in the 30s, and uh, there was a policy that married women um, wouldn't work because it wasn't enough work. And so they went to Sydney and married. Oh, kept it secret. Well, that was the purpose. It didn't work. <laughs> Somebody dobbed them in. And they got married in, interestingly, Lee, in Roseville at the Anglican oh. Church in Roseville. It happens to be where Christine's son, Christian, and his family have been living for the past about five years, Roseville. I wonder why they picked Roseville. It's not very far north of the city, uh, so probably accessible uh, yeah. on the train line, uh, but it is a good question. Mm. Oh, I need to put the heating on. It's cold. Surely, um, surely for a while, Dad, it's been fair, a fairly wealthy place, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it actually well, North changed. Shore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would it imagine. It's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it is and, interesting. You know, my. My um, auntie-in-law, you know, from Japan, she, they came to Australia to get married, not for the same reason, but because in Japan, you're supposed to have everyone and anyone there. Um, so they wanted to avoid all the hoo-ha and got married in Australia. Now, Simon, what have you got on the screen now? This is Eustick's Corner. Yeah. So... It looks like Stephen set up shop. So Stephen is the oldest brother who came first. He arrived 1853. And this is a note from, and then he was elected. There's another similar newspaper story about the first ever formation of the Tutan Council. And St Stephen Eustick was voted, I think, second or, or third so he was, he was like not the mayor but one of the very senior councillors in the winning election the first ever one and he was on it for until his death I think for 14 years or something so yeah there's a reference to Eustick's Corner and there's other references to Ah, uh, Stephen. There's so much. So he was a he was a mining engineer. At least he took that role when he was here in Australia. He was involved in this big water scheme, which is still relevant today for that area. So uh, mining engineering would that have been come out of the tin mining in Cornwall? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, on their shipping records. So we'll go to Stevens first. Stevens. Okay, this is his arrival. Wow, you can actually see. <laughs> wow. Where is, this is he? Com was this coming out of Liverpool? I thought, I think right at the top left. Of it. Oh, there's a bloody Harry Clarkson on with him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Those, the Clarksons. 
The scoundrels. <laughs> There's a Stephen you stick. There is. So would that a be minor. Age, you reckon? Sorry? Would that that's, be age 24? Yes, definitely. That's the age column and that's the occupation. He's a minor. If you, you look at... Name, do you have the name of the ship? Yep. If you look up, Clarkson was a gentleman. So go, Marianne. She moved up. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So the Passar, Passar Royang, Captain, however, 782 tons, 90 passengers. Or, we think crew. that's P A W -S, S A R O E A N G. Yeah. What an amazing word. I have no idea. So 8th of July, 1853. And here's the crew, and that's uh, the, the, the people. And it looked as though it was leaving Liverpool. Is that your impression from the top? Yes, on the left? sorry, Liverpool. definitely. Yeah. Even getting up to Liverpool would have been a journey, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah well, that's my, my, my favourite uh, English football team. I mean, you can see the Clarkson's a gentleman. Goodness. Mm. Well, he, well, I suppose he was. He took her in, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and some of this Lang... I, I, these are probably his mates. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking these two. John Madden could be Madden. Yeah. M-A-D-D-E-R-N, which is a very... There's lots of history in Cornwall, Eustics and Maddens. Yes. Williams, it was a big Corn Cornish name. And But this is L-A-N-G-O-N one, I think, also yeah. is. Yes, yeah, so it, it, there are Lanyons, which I would have thought oh. is more likely, although it does look more like a G. Yep. It could be. Yeah, could be miscopied mis all yeah, over the place. Quickly. Look, poor, poor Maria. The wife just gets Maria. <laughs> With a ditto. There's a ditto mark there, I think. He's, he's running out. He's speed writing. Oh, too true. Okay, there's a ditto. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, and under, under the eddies, there's a, a Richard Eddy and a, another Richard Eddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. With question with question marks, is it? No, it's, it's just oh. a D. It's a it's a okay. way of D. Oh, Richard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Abbreviation. I've nice. Seen people do that uh, recently. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Students. <laughs> um, and yeah, so Eddie and Thomas also big Cornish names, for sure. Thomas is huge everywhere. Yeah. In, in all those old church records. Yeah. So that's theirs, and we've also got the other brothers' uh, equivalent uh, document, um, which is really cool. So, is that here? Yeah, the Pegasus. That's a bit easier to say. <laughs> From Liverpool again, can you remember? London, I think. Oh. And a much bigger boat. London. So 1863, 150 people, 140 days. Is it? Mm, yeah. Uh, from, from London, Thomas, Robert. William H. 24, 21, 18. And we've got a fair idea of what that H would stand for, haven't we? Would, would you guess, Henry, any of you? Would you put a bet on Henry? <laughs> I'm going to put a bet on Henry. Not Horatio. <laughs> Not Horatio. Not Herbert. Not Herbert. <laughs> and labourers, yeah. There's an Amelia at the, as the third passenger there. So. Oh, yes. I, I'm still spinning that um, my great-grandmother's middle name was Amelia. Wow, I didn't know that. It's looking for other names. Uh, 
I don't know. Mm. Might be less Cornish. Might be just the th- a family trip. Yeah, and if the three of them were coming out, yeah, they didn't need any other buddies. Need it, yeah. Can, can you, just to be a bit of a drag, can you show us the ages of the, the Eustics again? I've got, I think Thomas is 24. 21 and 18. 21 and 18. Oh, what an adventure. 24 would probably have been regarded as mature. Mm. Maybe 21, but 18, that's quite an adventure. Ooh. Is Thomas... Oh, no, anyway, no. Wow. Dad, just a side question. Do you have any, um, did you keep anything that your parents wrote on? Like, I'm interested in their handwriting. Yes. Okay, because the the handwriting on those um, lists is just stunning. It's beautiful. I mean, it's like calligraphy, right? Yes. Obviously, the style... My mother wrote well. Uh, I don't have much. Mm-hmm. My father wrote appallingly. And he used to tell me that was because when he was a youngster, he wrote with his right hand, as most people do. Uh, but then he something happened. He had a really bad accident, which broke his elbow, his right elbow. And he had to learn to write with his left hand. Wow. And so that's why he, his writing was uh, poor. But I do have some of that. Mm-hmm. If you have a chance to scan or photograph that, and we can add it to this mm. archive. And let's just hope, you know, the World Wide Web never crashes. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm just making a note. Yeah, that would be great, Dad. Mm. Because I was just wondering where your impeccable hand handwriting more more from my mother, from. yeah. But also, we were taught handwriting at school, mm. and a lot of attention was paid to it. We even had special exercise books with mm. lines that were quite specially done, like mm. not just the normal lines. Mm-hmm. Um, and there'd be and and and, but it was a subject writing. It was written on your report, writing, as a, a, like a subject, and a lot of attention, as I said, was given to it. Mm. So here's a Thomas. So where is this, Simon? It's an Ives. Right. Holston. Is that 30 years of age? Mm. Wow. Yeah. 1869. But we don't. So we know. must. We must have been so close to it, Sammy. If we yeah. had it, mm-hmm. it would have been up. Because uh, I've seen other photos of this cemetery. Yep, Bar Noon. It's it's Holston. It's St Ives. Uh, so was Thomas on that boat? Because yeah. I think one one of them came back. I, th- I thought. Yes. Was it the youngest? The youngest. Simon, that age would be perfect because on the the boat left in 1863 and he was 24. Add six ah. years to mm. 1869 and he's 30. So the age is perfect. For the oldest one. For Thomas, who was on that second boat. Did you say that was the Pegasus? Yeah. Mm. Excellent. So he was the 24-year-old on that boat. Yeah. So the age is perfect. Ah. And he's buried with his father, who died 1875. So he's the father of Robert Stephen. Yeah, the, the, the brothers Stephen. who came mm-hmm. was Martin. Martin and Mary. So that's there. <clears throat> we were so close. <laughs> next time, next time. So did you say Bar Bar Nu or something? Did we go? Uh, okay. It's in it's in St. Ives, Bar Noon. It's okay. on that hill, but it's on that hill where you know where we look went up the road, look for parking, and then we came back and parked. I think when yeah. we went right up the road up the hill. Uh, you can see, look, look, yeah. <laughs> it's the same. We would have driven past it. <laughs> it's, the same. it's the same view. Ah, yeah. 
The cemetery has a view. Oh. <laughs> This and Ives Beautiful. Place is incredible. Wow. It's like, um, reminds me of Dorset, um, the pictures you showed me, Dad, and obviously watching yeah. Broadchurch. Yeah. But that's probably the coastline. They probably all look similar. Well, no, uh, around Dorset, the cliffs are very steep and it's mm. the Jurassic, Jurassic Coast and... Uh, uh, that's where Broadchurch uh, was filmed, mm. that series, West Bay in particular. And Christine and I, I don't know, half a dozen years ago, spent um, a week or so uh, in that area. Well, virtually mm. there. And we took a boat cruise from Exmouth along the Jurassic Coast, which was wonderful. Yeah. Mm. Whereas, mm. yeah. In it's, a little not, little... it's not dissimilar, but it's not exactly the same. In, in And what sort of boat did you travel on? Was it a large one or a small one? Well, it, it's a, it's, so it's a tourist expedition boat, uh, relatively small. Oh, uh, nice. might, have, might have taken, what, 50 to 100 people at the oh, most. Lovely. And it was, a, it was excellent value because you went out and you came back and you had a cuppa and... And quite a decent commentary, and it was a reasonable price for what you got, and mm -hmm. and it was the only real way of seeing the coastline yeah. because yeah. the road very rarely is on the coast mm. because the coast is going up and down and in and out and so on, and there just isn't a road that does it. The only way is either by plane, you know, a helicopter or something. Plane to be too fast, yeah. And the boat is about the right speed. Oh, there you go, by noon. Mm. And you'll notice, Lee, there's a, 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 a um, um, an iteration of the Tate at St Ives. You see the blue thing near in the top center. Yeah, and also I know it's. Well, yeah, the dolphin. Not it's not a dolphin, but dolphin. Yeah. Reference. Mm. Yeah, we, thought, we would have liked to have spent more time in St. Ives, but it was um, towards the end of our trip, wasn't it? And very difficult to get parking, and so we could have bussed in. But anyway, we kept moving. But yeah, St. It's I, not I feel... quite where I pictured it either, Sammy. It's... Oh, okay. This is even better real estate in there. Yeah. The parking in these up. areas, Lee, is uh, oh. appallingly difficult. Um, they, the people that set the roads up hundreds of years ago had no idea about motor cars and the volume mm. of traffic. Mm. Yeah, we were Probably advised very narrow. to take the bus, we were advised. So mm. <laughs> leaves the carpet. Interesting. And, yeah... We went to Holstown because that's where all the census information says that they were living just over here, that, that family, before they came to Australia. Uh, what else? Um, we found Stevens. Have you got the Tewton? Did you show the Tewton? Um, we went to the graveside of Stephen in Tewton. Yes, I mean, you haven't seen this. This is the reference to Eustick's Corner. Oh, okay. In Tewton. So Tewton's right near Castle, Maine. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, let's get out of Cornwall. It's too much. <laughs> too many Eustick's in Cornwall. Oh. I sent a few over to Australia. <laughs> the best. <laughs> oh, now I'm questioning it, Neil. Like, are we even new sticks? Like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Completely. So, again, lots of mining in this area. We went to a couple of mine sites because I like mine sites. And... This area is world famous for gold. Yeah, that's what they came for. But they were a little bit late. <laughs> well, they, yeah. Okay. Well, Lee, do you have any idea where this is? 
Well, this helps you. Yeah. So we're northwest of Melbourne. Yeah, it's a lovely drive out through Wood End, Kyneton, it just past Dalesford. Yeah, it's beautiful countryside. It's interesting, the last time that I um, had a decent time with your, your dad, Sam and Simon, um, and Juliet, I, uh, Christine and I took them uh, for a drive to Castle Maine and we had lunch there. Just coincidentally? Coincidentally, it's be simply, <laughs> simply because we knew it was a lovely place and we, I, don't, I don't think Christine had ever been there before. Wow. And, and uh, so we, we went there. Wow, that's bizarre, isn't it? Oh, my God. Out of all the places you could have picked. <laughs> we took uh, Ian, uh, also um, not Juliet, because I think she was working the other day. We drove down to Lawn on the Great Ocean Road. Beautiful. Because we used to, uh, um, our mum, Vera, used to take us um, for a few years to a holiday in, in our teens, uh, or perhaps Ian might have been um, early 20, 20 or so. I would have been about 15, 16. So maybe he was late teens uh, to lawn. Yep. Oh, did you? Okay. Um, did Percy go too? No. See, he was running. He was running a shop six days a week. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad That's you running did that. Clifton Hill. And there was no oh. way. He he almost never had a holiday. What was she like? Well, there's a, there's a question. Hmm. Um, what kind of answer do you want? Whatever comes to mind. Oh, okay. What are the first things that spring to mind when you think of her? Well, Who? she was... Who? Vera. Vera. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yep. Vera, Vera worked very hard. She was smart. Um, very determined person. She was a very loving person, but she became increasingly frustrated with her husband because he became a big drinker, like seriously alcoholic and got drunk probably six nights of the seven in a week and at times abusive and even uh, to a small degree violent. And... Um, that really was difficult for her. Uh, well, what an understatement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, including me, as a teenager growing up through all of that. Mm -hmm. um, she loved uh, she, uh, she loved doing lots of things. Um, uh, TV came in uh, when she was in her mid-40s and she really enjoyed television. She was interested in astrology. She was interested in betting. In what? Betting. Betting? betting on horses. Really? But with very small amounts of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very small amounts of money. We're talking here in the late 50s, early 60s, so she'd have two and six each way. This is um, before dismal Guernsey or decimal currency. Uh, <laughs> and uh, did she have any knowledge of, like, was it hoping for luck, or did she have any knowledge of who to bet, what to bet on? She she combined her interest in astrology and horses by certain the numbers. Uh, certain numbers were meant mm. to be favourable at certain right. times and so on, and and she did okay. Um, she didn't lose. Um, it wasn't like a gambling addiction. It was an, it was an interest for her. A hobby, yeah. It's sure. even possible that some of the writing that I have from her is includes some of these numbers. Interesting. Which um, mean, mean nothing to any of us, but um, but I think I just have a memory of that, and I'll have to dig it out if I can find it. And was Percy at all interested in that as well, the horses and, and betting? Not much, no, no, a little, a little bit. He was a sport fanatic. Um, I mean, Simon, you won't be too surprised at that. I mean, he, he 
adored sport. Mm. And one of the things that the family used to do, because it was very blokey apart from Vera, was on a Sunday morning, the, the only day that my father did not open the shop, we would watch something on television from about, oh, I don't know, nine or 10 in the morning for three hours, or I don't know exactly when it started, but we, we'd watch this and they'd be, it'd be a commentary on the matches the day before. Because this was a world where football, which was, of course, AFL, there was nothing else in Melbourne, and football was played on a Saturday. Now, that's a bit hard to imagine because with... <laughs> All the games you know, on one day. <laughs> same in rugby league and other sports. It's played, you know, three or four day, days or nights. Of, there was no night football um, in the normal kind of football. Night football did exist. There was a kind of night football competition, but it was completely separate. So we would watch it. He was sport, but he, he, he loved... Uh, one of my memories of my dad was playing cricket with him. And he was, um, he was a good cricketer. And uh, so we, we would talk cricket. He also was a, a nut for mental arithmetic. He ah. thought that was, um, you know, playing with numbers, you know, what are six sevens and subtract four and add 12 and what do you get? Dad you know? loves that. And he loved that. Mm. And a great despair and just, oh, of course him great distress actually was, there came a day when I could do it quicker than he. <laughs> he could not believe that. It was talk about take the wind from his sails. Um, he had a he had a lovely sense of humour, but the period between when I was about night twelve to twenty one, that sort of period, he was kind of absent. That was when his alcoholism yeah. uh, was so destructive, and he became unavailable. And then my mother died uh, mm -hmm. when I was 21 and he stopped drinking. Just bang, he stopped drinking. And mm -hmm. for the next 15 months, he was around again. Uh. And the silly bloke at that point died, <laughs> which was a bit annoying to say the least. Mm -hmm. But he was, he was available and he was lovely again. What would oh, you do things with him then? I, uh, you know, if you could rerun your life, you'd run it some bits of it differently. And um, at that point, I was, um, I was doing a master's degree. At, I was trying to. I never finished it. Um, and uh, I started it and my mother died. And then I was living in a college uh, one of the, I'd done an undergraduate degree and I was in a college, but I now, when I finished, I moved to be a tutor in another college mm. and um, she died and I came home to support my father, Percy. And, um, but then uh, he said, oh, look, you know, there's no need to do that. So I went back close. We we're living way out of town at Box Hill. And, and nowhere near the station, like probably a mile and a half from the station, you know, a long way. Yep. So um, he said, go back. So I rented, share rented a place in North Fitz, not, no, in Fitzroy um, with uh, a, a pal who was doing a master's degree as well. In, we were doing science. And uh, so I did that. And then, as I said, he 15 months later died. Mm. So at that point, I thought, oh, dear, I have no money and no job. Mm. I'm in a bit of bother here. Mm. So I um, thought I'd better get a job. So I stopped doing the... Uh, my master's was in a total mess anyway. Uh, and I um, uh, didn't finish it. And instead, I devoted my energy to finding uh, a job, mm. which teaching. ended up being teaching at Melbourne Grammar School. Mm. And um, the, um, 
and that went very well. You know, I, I um, yeah, it was found, Yeah, well, it appears from the outside like you found your calling. <laughs> you, you seem very good at it. Yeah, yeah. Have you got a quick multiplication? We we you wanna, you wanna bang one off, Sammy, and I'll go head to head with Neil. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Give us an, a, a nine times twelve plus three minus seven. <laughs> yeah, but then I have to know the answer. <laughs> no, you don't. You just check it later. No, you do it. You go. Are you a numbers person? <laughs> uh, I remember numbers, not not necessarily mathematic though. No. <laughs> I do enjoy watching the letters and numbers, those sorts of shows. If I had one number one skill, I would say that was my skill as well. Remembering? Or, no. Yeah. Oh, no. being good with numbers, addition and... Yeah, yep. basic, yeah, two-digit multiplications by two digits. Right. Yeah, adding, subtracting. Yep. Yeah. Now, guys, um, for two reasons, we, we, we will meet again. Uh, and maybe and again and maybe and again. Um, One day we'll even take it like IRL <laughs> in real life. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I didn't well, know. Definitely. Thanks for keeping with me. <laughs> no, sorry, Neil. So, uh, uh, but I was just thinking, um, uh, I, I, Simon, you have so much fantastic stuff and you're handling it uh, so quickly. Yeah. And um, I'm just in admiration of mm. what you have. Is, what you do you want to finish on this one if everyone has to go? That was, is this yeah. the one you were telling me about, Yui? Um, this, this Percy. Is this Percy? Yeah. In grade two, winning an award at Burnley Primary, which looks like it's now, because there's an address here. Sorry, this is just my laptop. Richmond Primary School. I had no idea. Another in it. You know, you guys, the conversations that if only I knew that I needed to have with my parents, <laughs> I was so full of myself that I, 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 they were just parents. Like, but Neil, you were at that age. Exactly. You know, I, yeah. I had to tell two of my daughters off for not calling them on Mother's Day because they've got their heads stuck up there. They're, they're you know, 20, yeah. 23. Yeah, like, half yeah. their body, yes. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's an age. And also, Dad, I mean, the, the trauma you went through, growing up with what happened and who they were to you until you know you said he became available mm. not long before he died so you barely yeah. kind of had him back in your life so yeah. I mean yeah. these are the I, things I, that age is going I, through right now with the questions that he yeah. should have could have would have not particularly beating myself up about it just no good just just good. saying just stating a fact <laughs> yeah <laughs> if only I'd know. yeah yeah. Um, but this is fabulous, Simon. Um, so Percy, Percy won a prize in grade two. Yeah. Okay. And was awarded and made the paper, Richmond Guardian. But in his class, same age, Albert Eustick. Oh. Which is, remember, Minnie was racing with to see who would come out first with Rogers, whatever. Yes, yes. So they ended up going to school together in Richmond. And that's Bert. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and no, that's not that. But anyway. Oh. So, so help me here, Simon. What relation is Albert to Percy? Are they cousins, do you think? Cousins? I think so. Or is Albert his uncle? I think Albert might be No, no, uncle. Grade, grade two. Yeah, but... Um, okay. okay, let's see what we can... Where do we go? Anyway, it was called Burnley Primary at this stage, but later it's now Richmond Primary. Now, my dad told me that he went to year eight. Oh, but like 1908. My, like my mother, because there he is. a lot of those schools, they might have even had the word central on them, like Richmond Central or Burnley Central. I don't exactly know why they were called that. 
Um, and But years passed and they were determined that Ian and I go to the best school that they could possibly afford. They had, didn't have much money. And um, I mean, they got a motor car when my father was about 48 and mum would have been 44. And the only way we could afford a television set, which was um, around that time, was when um, uh, all of us put money in together. Like all my savings went in, and uh, Ian, I think, put a similar amount in, uh, went to buy that first TV set. And but they, both my parents, Percy and Vera, were bright. They just didn't have much schooling. Mm. And my father, when I brought home books from the school library, um, we had almost no books at home at that stage. There were some books later. So we're here talking about year seven, something like that. My father would devour them. And I can remember I always, to return the books to school, would always have to go to his room <laughs> to find the books because he would have pinched them for me. So more Percy than Vera was the reader. That's my memory of it. Okay. But she she read she read the newspaper. I mean, we had a news agency, and uh, so there were plenty of papers around. And what did, did he read, Dad? What did he read? Mm. Well, this is kind of a bit crazy. The one that I can actually remember there was a there was a, a kind of a bit of a stupid series coming out of England about a fat boy at school called Billy Bunter. And uh, that's a fat boy's name. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he used to love reading those. <laughs> but there were a lot of books. And that's just one that sticks in my mind for some reason. I, I don't know why it sticks in my mind. I've just looked him up. Yes, he is a bit chubby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just found the thing from Roger before, and it says, um, he went to, uh, Roger said he went to Clifton Hill. Um, I met your grandfather, so Percy in Clifton Hill. I think I was a little baby, a little kid, a to toddler. My parents had taken me to see your grandfather and his mother. Your grandfather came dead close to being born in Carisbrook until my grandfather patched them all up, including his own pregnant wife, my grandmother, Emily. So the grandmother and grand... So who was Emily's... So Pop Eustick was Emily's husband. Yui, I saw you had that up before. Yeah, where's that? Oh, there. Oh, no, no. Nah. Hey, Dad, nah, just a no, side no. note. Your middle name could have come from Billy Bunter <laughs> because he was using the pen name Frank Richards. And I know that's plural, but anyway. Oh, a bit of trivia there. So it could have been I inspired. I don't like it. I mean, it's imaginative, <laughs> but I don't like it. <laughs> you don't want anything to do with it. The date would have been a bit wrong because yeah, they, of came course. Across, they came across that well after I was born. Yeah, okay, right. But, right. but it is interesting <laughs> where they got names, Richard and mm. Neil Richard Usick and mm. Ian Raymond Usick, where they got those names from. You Did you ever ask them? You were showing Simon the uh, the en enlistment and and mm -hmm. so on for my for Percy. I've never seen this before. No. I tried to get this, but I I didn't. For some reason, it was blocked. Did you know about it? Well, I knew he. I, well, I knew he was in in the army. Oh, but I, I think know. he was. I think he was discharged um, with some condition. Might have been a mental illness. But it looks like it was at the end of the war, wasn't it? Was it 45 the war ended? That's right. Does it say where he served or anything? I don't think he went overseas. Oh, okay. So wow. that's a very bold, that's a very bold uh, uh, description, isn't it? I mean, there's no detail there at all. No. 
Just is there a plaque anywhere for you in memory no. of this? No. I went to the War Memorial when mm. we were living in Canberra. Mm. Uh, it's the centre of this information. Yeah. What about anywhere in Melbourne? Uh, in terms of base, are you thinking of an army base or something? Oh, uh, well, what about the, yeah, the Shrine of Remembrance, is it? I think it only has well, those that, that died that in. Uh, in terms yeah. of training, Pakapanyal near sea yeah, would, be, yeah. would be a place, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I visited there a while back. Our grandfather on my mum's Carmel side, Jim Dalton, he's... He's got similar references, but he's he's kept his own uh, medals and war book. Yep. So I don't think we've ever found anything from any government. No. He definitely storage facility yeah. it was all stuff that he kept himself. It's a shame. So many of them, I guess. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Mm. I'm going to have to go, um, guys. I've got my niece here. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to get a bit hungry. It is hard. <laughs> yeah, any uh, time. Any time for all of us. Yeah. Um, but enjoy your beef Wellington, Sam. Oh, that's, yeah, that's for tomorrow. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> You're going to chill for 24 hours, but I will enjoy oh, yeah. it tomorrow night. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, good. You had yeah. a lovely night. It was so good to see you, Lee. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, thanks so much, Simon, as well. Uh -huh, for you're welcome. Doing yeah. all the, the driving. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, great to see you both. It's been far too long. And, yeah, I look forward to the next time. And take care, Dad. Enjoy your night as well. And Say hi to Chris. Some of us, yeah, thanks. Some of us can uh, put our heads together about when we might meet again. Yeah. Any, any suggestions about time frame? Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? What what, what, what do you think? Um, do, do, well, do, as soon as Rachel, yeah. if Rachel wants to join us, yeah, we could do it even earlier if she feels up to it. Yeah, right. good idea, Simon. Okay. Yeah, next right. weekend, I'm probably driving to Canberra and back, so it's probably not good for me. Sure. <laughs> so maybe a fortnight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Sounds good. Okay. Thank well, you. have a great night, everyone. Take bye care. Bye. Love you. Okay. Guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, Neil. Fab. Fab. And yeah. we'll, we'll talk about the recording and availability and so on. We'll try and figure that out. Okay. Yeah, just right. upload it, Dad, to um to Gmail, like a Google Drive. It's probably the okay. easiest. I'll yeah. talk to you about that. Yeah, we'll talk offline. Okay. See Got you guys. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Yui. See you, Neil.